I kind of consider these these kind of app repository poisonings a, a weird kind of a supply chain issue. While you're not really, you know, hacking Ubuntu or Canonical, you're you're kind of poisoning the the well of their their app repository. And it's a, to me one of the ways you can accidentally install malicious software through what's typically a trusted supply chain of a a download repository. So uh, it's not the first time we've seen like publicly available Linux packages being exploited in some way. I mean, usually it's sometimes them just uh, maybe actually hacking a company and putting up a trojanized version of a package. But in this case, the, the tricky way you can socially engineer people to download a package seems similar to me. So I think you're right. It, it seems like a class of attack that would be useful as a kind of supply chain like attack. Yep. So if you are an application developer for Ubuntu specifically, make sure that if you're packaging or deploying your package on apt, you are also deploying it on a snap or at least registering it.